Welcome back. Well, it seems not everyone in the Western Cape got the memo about the ban on cigarette sales. And government's mixed messages have made matters even more confusing. Earlier this week, the provincial government announced cigarettes could be bought as part of essential goods shopping. But this was quickly squashed by Police Minister Peggy Trele. Ian says Monique Mortlock has got that story for us. Smokers in the Western Cape have had a confusing week. They went from thinking they can no longer buy cigarettes to hearing they can only to be told the ban is still in place during lockdown. So we'll urge the business in Western Cape not to listen to people that tell them wrong things. It's left some people fuming. I cannot even comprehend to understand what's happening. There's no order, in my opinion, there's no order. The one is contradicting the other. But others are looking at the bright side of the ban. I feel fair this because by the end of the day we'll all have more money in our pockets. It's a good thing to stop it. And should the smokes run out, how can cravings be beaten? Ran out of cigarettes for a few times and the only thing we did was drinking water. Does it help? At the out, water through a straw. Some people have made sure they've got enough stash and even a backup plan to see them through the lockdown. Myself and my partner, we both smoke. Um, and we do have enough, and if we run out, um, I'm that person. I went and bought each of us a vape. But we found a few spaza shops still selling them. Huh? Keep cigarettes in my room. This what? Keep cigarettes in pocket in my room. Some smokers say even if the shop stops selling cigarettes altogether, there will always be a backstreet seller willing to meet their needs for a little extra cash. You simply need to know where to go and who to ask. Monique Mortlock, Cape Town.